Okay, shalom everybody. As far as I know, we're still in Hosea 6. Yes, we need to do 7. Hema. They. They. Ka Adam. Like the man. Avru. Crossed over what? The breed, the covenant. Covenant is a name. There. There. Now, where is where is the middle point? Where do we start the new thought? After breed. Breed is the end, okay? They crossed over the covenant. What does that mean, they crossed over the covenant? They breached the covenant. There, Bagdu. Remember this? A beggar is a garment, but this has a meaning. To deceive? Deceive. Deceive me. So when we... That is extended meaning of to be close. So Gilad is the city. Kiryat. Do you know what this is? What's a Kir? Kir is a city, and Kiryat is the city. The walled city, a city in the sense of it being a walled area. Poale, what's poal? Paal, uh, workers of evil. Akuba, now, what is the root of that? You know the root of it. Like Yaakov, it is the heel. And it can be following, like on the heels of something. But this is something with dumb, blood. From the blood. Okay, from the blood. So I know that... Uh, other people have talked about this, and I have said it, that t- traditionally Yaakov's name is translated as supplanter, um, but it's really just heel grabber. But we're going to see some other uses, and you'll see it really does have a negative connotation. So we're going to Yeshayahu Mem, Pasuk Arba. Okay, so you, so you know this. It's very uh, seasonal scripture at the moment. Okay. Kol Gay, what is a Gay? What is Ge Hinnom? It's a valley. valley. Okay. The valley of Hinnom. Okay, Ge is a valley. Yinase, Nasa, like lift up. Uh huh. Kolhar. And all the mountains. And Giva, every off. hill. Yishpalu, which you don't know. Shafal means to be made low. There's an area uh, of Israel which is called the Shvela, and it's a big, long plain. Vahaya. And it will be. Okay, so here's your Akko, translated as crooked. And it will become a Mishor from Yashar. Straight. And Harchasim is uh, the rough places. Vika is also uh, a kind of a valley or a plain. So what, what scripture is this? Sing it to me. Every valley shall be exalted. All the... Uh, Mountain and hill shall be brought low. The crooked places shall be Yashar. And so by the contrast of, it, of the uh, um, Ekev and the Yashar, you see that they're opposites. Right. Okay, Yashar definitely means straight. So we can see that the Akev, Akev is crooked. Here's another one that you know, Yirmiyahu, Yazayan, Pasuk Tesha. What is Akko? That is Akko, the heart. Right, it's translated as the heart is deceitful, wicked. Yeah, anybody has anything else? Me call, then everything else. It's, remember the me, the mem is comparative. And it's also, so it's translated as uh, desperately wicked, yeah. anush. And who can know it? Who can know it? In this case, we can see that these two uh, ekebs have to do with being crooked. And so back in Hosea, there were, there were workers of iniquity. The city... City is the idea is uh, underfoot, trampled. It's trampled underfoot with blood. Do not be a worker of iniquity. The idea is trampled under, underfoot, like the ekev, like the heel. Verse 9. Ooh. K. And. K. Like. Chake. So what form is this? It's smichu. Uh, I don't know. I didn't make any notes. I think we should know this verb. Lechakot. Chake. What is it? To wait. to wait. Okay. So this is like the ones who are waiting. The ones who are waiting. What are they waiting for? Ish. They're waiting for a man. Okay. And who are they? They are the gedudim. So we are going to go over this uh, gedud. So one of the tribes, right, is named God. So let's go to Bereshit uh, Memtet, Pasuk, uh, te, Cha Esrei, to Cha Esrei, Cha Esrei. It's his name. Okay, Gedud is translated as a troop. 
Okay, so by the time he comes along, they've got a lot of kids. He's going to troop on them. <laughs> okay, he's going to be stomping on them. And in the end, in the Ekev, in the Ekev, right, he will, it's translated to have a victory. He's going to raid at their heel. We got some other funky things in this verse also. Yes, Ekev, the last verse, is ek, the last word is Ekev. Uh, Malachim Bet. Uh, Yud Gimel Pasuk Esrim Yamat. He was demoted. He died. Who died? Elisha. Not Eliyahu. Elisha. Okay, and what happened to him? They buried him. And then these Gadudes from Moab. Okay, they're troops. Sometimes it's translated as bands, like bands of soldiers, not rock bands. So they came in the land. Bashana is at the coming of the year, which is considered to be the spring, right? Nobody's going to war in December or anything. Advarim, Yud Dalet, Pasukarishon, Banimatem. You are the sons, uh-huh, your God, Lo Tit Go to do. So this is this root. What binyan is it? Hit <laughs> ba'el. And it's translated as cut. You know this. You know this verse. Do not cut yourselves. Lo tasimu karcha. What is, do you know karcha? Karcha? Karcha. It, it's a, lack, a lacking of hair, okay? Okay, it's, so do not... Um, actually, it's an odd, an odd idea of a custom between your eyes, okay? So I guess like you know, shaving your head up here or something like that. No. It's, somehow it's related to that. And what is it for that you're not allowed to do these cuttings? Lamet, for the dead. Do not cut yourselves or make yourself bald in whatever area that is uh, for the dead. So how is this cutting having to do with these troops? They, they, they go, make a way through. They cut through the lines of uh, mm-hmm. defense or cut through the land, right? They're making a kind of a cutting. We have another example that will help you. Malachim Aleph, Yud Chet Esrim Bishmona. What is the story? So where where is this taking place? What's the on Mount Carmel, right? And they're trying to get their fire lit. He wasn't Maybe listening. He was, really... he was relieving himself. Karu Bakol Gadol. They cried in a great voice. They hit go to do. They Slash themselves according to mishpat, according to their judgment. Mm. So that's kind of interesting because when when we take you know some of the things which are in Torah are defined as mishpatim, yeah. um, and and their judgments, their rulings, their things, laws that we need to do. Okay, that's their law that they're supposed to cut themselves. And uh, and how do they cut themselves? Becharavot, acherev, swords. And kamachim, uh, which is lances or some kind of spears, ad shvach dam, till the blood is being poured out. So here's this example of hitgo to do. They cut themselves. This is not over. This is still part of a ritual. A certain day they celebrate where they cut the cut themselves and bleed oh, all no. over. It's demonic. You know we. To us, and uh, and even just from an American culture, never mind, you know, but the, the Judeo-Christian base of American culture, we think, who, why would anybody do that? That's just crazy. Why would you just beat yourself up until you bleed? But they don't have any foundation. They have no god, no, zero godly foundation for their culture. So... What they think, whatever they do, that's normal, and we've been doing it for centuries, and it's no problem. They've been doing it since this day. They're still doing it. It's sick. It started a long time ago. It's still going on, and it's demonic. Okay, so we're back in Hosea. There are, there are, uh, there are troops. They're like waiting for a man. You see the nice diamond that's over the doll, the second dollar of Gedudim? That's sort of like a pause there. It's not the middle pause, but it is a pause. So now we're going to go on to another thought. Chever kohanim. Chever kohanim. You know what chever is? Friends. So it's like the fellowship of the priests. The group of priests. And what are they doing? They're on the derech. Yeratzchu. Ritzach, we know. It's murder. They're a fellowship of priests, okay? 
<laughs> Ratzach is is the is uh, the sixth commandment. Lo Ratzach. And so here it is, this Shechma. It's only translated this way twice. And the other translation of this Shechma is in Tzifanya Gimel. You know, probably in your Bible they are going to Shechem. But in the King James, it's not translated that way. Now, it'll be interesting to see how yours is translated in Tzifanya. Okay, this is a very famous verse, and you should probably know it. Ki az, ven, ehepoch, hafach, to turn upside down. El amim, to the people, safa, your lip, language, brura, clear, clear language. Okay, likro, to call kulam. B'shem Yava La'avdo, serve him Shechem Echad, with one shoulder. So how is it usually translated? With one, one consent or one accord. <laughs> you know about the verse before this, way, way, way back when you first learned the Aleph Bet, I gave you a page with the verse before this, and what did you do with that page? You had to find every letter. So the previous verse, so the verse before has every form, 22 letters and five final forms. The only verse in the Bible that has all those things. And then the next thing is I'm going to give them a pure language. I wonder what language that's going to be. Well, if you're in my class, I guess you know. So the Shechem here, we know Shechem is shoulder, okay? The idea... There's another word for shoulder. Do you know it? It's katef. So shechem is also shoulder, but it's more of the, of the idea that your shoulders are joined together up here somehow. So that's how they come to the idea of it being one accord or one consent. So back in Hosea, it's, it, this is also translated as that there's, there's this fellowship of the priests. They're on the way to murder shechma in one consent. But that is actually very, that is a King James translation. But it is very few of the translations. Most of them say they're on their way to Shechem to do this murder. I don't know why Shechem would be significant, uh, but that's, uh, that's what it is. It has it in one accord. I'm not coming down on either side of the translations. I'm just giving you all the information. Oh, come on. But the, the more important thing is that the priests are I'm gathering up to do murder. <laughs> this is a big problem, okay? Uh, continuing, ki, there's a lot of words we don't know here, ki zima. Zima has a lot of meanings and we're going to look at a few of the ideas of it. I think it means winter in Russian. Uh, I feel almost sure of that. Breshit. Yud Aleph. Zima comes from a root zomem. We're going to do both of it. Yud Aleph, pasuk shesh. All right, where are we? What's, what's this nice chapter about? The Tower of Babel. Bayomer, Yehovah. He is speaking. Hen. It's not hen. Henna. It's hine. To behold. Am echad. One people. Safa echad lekulam. We just had it. One language for all of them. Okay. V'zeh hachilam la'aso. This they have begun to do. Ata Now lo yibatzer. They cannot be stopped or refrained from them. Call asher Yazmu la'asot, all the things what? They intend, uh, we might say devise, propose. So this idea of zima comes, it shows that there is an intention behind it. Okay, there might be things that you do that are wrong, you might do them by accident. But these people are planning this, okay? So this is going to become important. Let's look at Vayikra Ka Arba Esrei. Ish, asher yikach. He took Isha, the et ima, with the dagash in the hay. What is it? Her mother. Uh, what is he taking them for? Not a long a loop, ride. A loop trip. <laughs> Not a long ride in the car. Zimahi. This is, so it's not only, but we see that there's a, that there's intent behind it, but it's uh, translated, I think, as lewdness. What's going to happen to these people? Ba'esh Yisrafu, right? Oto, him, the eten, them, the two females, right? Et, your uh, direct object, and hen, the two females. Lo zima betochachem. There will not be this, this kind of zima in your midst. Every so often, although it seems to be happening more and more, you read some bizarre story where the 
child is separated at birth and then somehow the mother marries the son. I mean, it's come up a little bit in the past few years. But this is not that. This is by, by intent, by intent, right? Not by accident. It's not like an Oedipus story or anything. Uh, Mishle, Kaf Aleph, Pasu, Gesrim Vesheva, Zevach, a sacrifice of the Resha, of the wicked, is a Toeva, abomination. <laughs> Toeva is an abomination. Af, even more so, when Bezima, when he brings it, when he brings it with, with a wicked intent. Okay, because he's a wicked man, he's bringing it with wicked intent. So we always want to see beside, behind this idea of zima is always some intent. Mishle lamid aleph pasuk sheshase. What chapter is this? What is Proverbs 31? Eshet chayel tov ma'od. Yes, it's an acrostic. Because your vowel pointed version will be somewhere. Like maybe at a footnote at the bottom. Okay, that's why it has no value. So who is considering what? It's a valiant woman, right? So so did I answer your question? Okay. Uh, she's considering a field, and what does she do? Tikach. She takes it. Uh huh. Uh, it's very interesting. The word for customer in modern Hebrew is lakoach. The person who takes is the customer. So it's not mipri, fruit of, kapeha, kaf, her hands. Nata, a nate, to plant a karim, a karim, a vineyard. That answers your question. It's not always evil intent. And here's another even more interesting one. Yirmiyahu, nun aleph, pasuk shtei So who is doing the zamam now? Who is the subject of the verb zamam, zamam? Yahweh. He's also devising things. All right. Alchamot bavel, on the... Walls of Babylon, Seunes, set up a banner, not a banner, a standard. Hachaziku, strengthen. What binyan is it? Don't say hit by He feel hamishmar. What are we strengthening? The mishmar. What's the root? The guard. The guard. Okay, the watch. The people who are doing the watching. Hakimu, from establish or set up, raise up. Shamrim, guards. Hachinu, we talked about the last time. Uh huh. Prepare. Now, this word you don't know. Uh, this is an interesting word. This is an interesting word. Light? No, because that would be or. But this has a bet. You can't just throw the bet away. You could throw the, you could throw the olive away. There'd be a lot of something. It, it is. I think the fourth plague. Not today. Can you? Arof. Dever. It's the fourth. No. So we don't want to be confused with the Arab. It, it's like flies. They don't really know what it is. It's gnats or some swarming flying thing. But that's not how it's translated here. It has another meaning, which is ambush. So you have to just think of all those people in the caves, you know, the caves that they're like swarming in the caves, and they're just hiding in the caves, and then they're all going to come out at once because it's an ambush. Iranians, get it? All right, so these are ambushes. You have, you have to have the picture of it. What's the picture? The picture is they're all waiting, and when the ambush comes, they're all going to come out like a swarm of flies, okay? Uh, okay, so they pre- prepare the ambush. Key. Why? Gam zamam yehoba. He is devising. Gam asa. Uh-huh. Et asher diber al yoshevei bavel. The thing which he has planned, which he has devised for Bible, he is doing it. So I don't know. Uh, I guess he's... But the point is, I think he's talking to, uh, to the people of Babylon. Like, you can put up all these watchmen, all these guards on these walls. But even so, God is preparing something. Look out, it's coming your way. That's right. All right, well, we did a couple of verses. It was a lot of words we didn't know in the last one.